Hello Taurus, welcome back to the Alice Illuminator for your November reading. Let's see what is going on for you. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. Let's uh, see, well, starting off with the Taurus card, Hierophant. We've got the Temperance card. Looks like this is a period where you're really going inward to, to question your own beliefs, to, to also like... Uh, get more disciplined with where you stand in life, your morals in life, your relationships, um, learning from the past experiences and really trying to find yourself in a more calm space as in like, okay, this is who I am, this is where I'm going, these are my morals, these are my values and you're trying to find the inner peace as well as the balance within yourself as well as with the people in your surrounding. I feel like you're... Um, You've overcome a very big, uh, big challenge here. Could be in regards to family, could be in regards to friendships or relationships, but whatever has, has been, it has taught you a lot of great lessons. And then we have the page of wands. So maybe you're, you've been in a period where you've been reflecting a lot, where you've been trying to find, like I said, your inner sanctuary and your inner peace and serenity. And now you're starting to stay more open or get more open to communicating this and oh the seven of swords <coughs> the seven of swords the two of cups <coughs> the moon the high priestess The Six of Pentacles, <clears throat> okay, and the Eight of Swords. <coughs> the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands. Okay, so it looks like you have someone in your heart here, but I do see and feel a little bit of doubt, a little bit of uncertainty in regards to a person. You may feel like... Like, you're not sure if you want to give your heart to this individual. You may feel like you need to go a bit more inward. Um, you're listening a lot to your intuition, or you will be starting to get more in tune with your intuition. You have the feeling that there is something going on around you or with a specific person that you don't truly really trust. Like, you still have your doubts. You still have your eyes a little bit, like wide open when it comes to a certain person in your life that you don't truly and fully trust as if you I don't know why I'm hearing it but you may have thrown in a ultimatum or you may have made things clear about yourself and about your values and uh, where you stand in life or where you stand in a relationship and you're still not sure how the other person is going to take this I do see that eventually uh, you're going to be you know you, I see the six of pentacles to the to the high priestess uh, but I, it does come up with the eight of swords so I feel I feel like you're holding back in being generous as you used to be I I get the feeling that you want the other person to put in more effort put in more energy and intuitively you will make your call intuitively you will see if that is enough you have a lot of doubts that you still can erase okay and it looks like it's going to still take a moment uh, there is the moon here which could be a cycle of uh, 30 days where you're still going to be kind of like needing to wait to see how this person is going to be behaving towards you let's see i want to know what, where the other person is and why you have these doubts like what is going on someone may have betrayed you or they may have shown you a part of them that you don't really feel like is in alignment with your purpose oh okay there's a lot I have the Knight of Cups with the Devil. I have the Eight of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Five of Swords. So you're dealing with someone that could be 
quite arrogant at the, and at the same time also very insecure. You're dealing with someone that wants to have the upper hand and sometimes at cost of the relationship or, you know, they're not someone that finds the middle way usually. Uh, the king of wands can be quite the persuasive type of energy, like they want to show who they are and they want, you know, they, they can do things out of arrogance, they can do things out of the ego and at the same time they could be also getting trapped in victimhood mentality, so there could be some type of narcissistic trait that you've been seeing within them and <clears throat> that's why you're, you're a little bit questioning if this person is capable of change because obviously people cannot always change that easily especially if people can be very quickly in a victimhood mentality uh, you feel like this person have has been coming forward with a lot of drama uh, could be even like being very aggressive uh, verbally very aggressive and at the same time, they have also like a very charming side of them. So that brings kind of like the confusion and you not being sure which person that is. Like, is this a good person or is it not? And that's why I feel like you're going inward uh, to listen really to your intuition and to make a more intuitive call. Uh, the Knight of Cups with the Devil could definitely also be a, someone that asks a lot of attention, that, that, that wants too much attention like they want to be the center of attention and it's like they prioritize the, the love and the romance in such a way that it's like love bombing or you may feel like it's it's bringing you out of your balance and your structure because it's a lot of heavy uh, obsessive romance right like obsessive love bombing and this could create a lot of toxicity so you may question if this person is um, obsessively trying to get you on on the relationship or obsessively behaving in a way where you're like okay I have to kind of like take things slow and see if this person really has their best intentions or they just want this out of greed or out of um, codependent codependency right because this is overly jealous energy and I, I feel like you're trying to get at it a little bit more diplomatic here. But definitely that five of swords with the um, with the king of wands, that, that is someone that is, what's the word? Entitled. I'm hearing the word entitled. Like sometimes this person does or say things where they feel like they are entitled to do that. Like... Because the King of Wands is a very persuasive, is, is, is very, how do I say that, like, uh, the word that I am searching for, like, they're there, alright, like, this is someone that will, they will not put their opinion away. That's, that's the type of energy that I'm getting. And you may have felt like this person has already betrayed you in a sense. So you're being extra cautious is what I'm getting here. What is this seven of swords? Yeah, with that caution, nine of wands, you're being very protective. You are trying to stay away from the drama, trying to stay away from, um, from the fights or any type of conflict right now. And I really see you putting in the effort to rebalance things and see things from an op optimistic point of view. However, you still feel like there is a lot of uncertainty around you and how this person is still going to be behaving. You're still not quite sure. Eight of Swords. Like, are they able and capable of truly seeing things or are they just saying it just to get your attention back? What is the Seven of Swords for Taurus, please? Yeah, Seven of Cups. You may feel like you both have a lot of different priorities. Uh, you may feel like this person has a very clouded judgment in regards to situations, that they are uh, 
not quite emotionally sure, meaning that one day they can be totally against something and then the next day they are totally fine with something and it's bringing up a lot of confusion within the headspace where you're like, okay, are you just saying that you're okay with it just to be okay with me to get you back on your on, on your team? Or are you saying these things because you truly stand behind it? So you're really questioning a lot of morals here. That's that's kind of like the, the, the vibe that I'm getting here. Yeah, the page of cups reverse. So you may really feel like this person is sometimes quite childish and neglecting emotions. You're not quite sure if they are truly sorry for for what they have done. That this is the major team um, where you're trying to be as mature as possible trying to look at the situation because you're not quite sure if it's just like poor emotional converse, um, communication, if this person is emotionally overwhelmed, if they don't really know what they want emotionally or these insecurity problems could be starting to cause more conflict in the future. So you're questioning a lot of these things. Yeah, Nine of Swords. You do see that this person is stressing out. They have a lot of fear. Could be also fear of abandonment. Uh, that's probably also why this person is so attached to, to the emotions, so attached to getting validation. And could also be showing signs of codependency as well as obsession here. But you do see that this person is quite desperate. They don't know how to deal with their emotions. Uh, they could be emotionally going through some traumas from the past as well. And this brings up a lot of confusion. What is the moon? The moon, again, with the High Priestess and the Two of Cups. Still, you feel like you both have a deep lesson. And the lesson or the purpose here is to bring harmony into the relationship. So be just mindful that you don't try to help this person excessively with the Six of Pentacles, which I feel like you're, you're really being cautious of that. Like, you're not trying to excessively help them uh, financially or supporting them in, in a way where you give too much of yourself, I feel like you really learned a huge lesson of keeping your own energy in sanctuary as well, to give more to yourself because you are coming to the realization that this person has some defaults or some errors within them that they only can help themselves. And I feel like this is, this is the biggest lesson that you're learning or you're seeing now that you can't always help people that are going through these situations. Like the more that you could probably distance yourself when someone is trying to love them, the more that this person will actually go kind of like haywire, right? And you may feel like it can bring out the worst of this person. So you're, you're constantly trying to find the middle way. But in this case, I do feel like <clears throat> your biggest lesson is to tap into your, to your own um, energy and to withhold, to hold back. Because the High Priestess is letting actions speak louder than words. This is actually like a non-communication type of energy love language or body language, the way that someone looks, the way that someone behaves, but not always in regards to open communication. So you are trying to find different ways to understand if this person really loves you. It's like words cannot help in this sense. It's, it's action, behavior, uh, intention, intuition, like you're really tapping into your sixth sense here. Any other additional messages for Aries, uh, Taurus, I'm sorry, Queen of Swords. 
you're definitely using your discernment here. The Queen of Swords is someone that does not allow emotions to let her slip away. And we see that with that moon and the high priestess that you're really not trying to make any decisions based on only emotions. That you truly need facts, that you truly need behavior, actions, uh, logic and discernment as well as rational thinking is a part of your process in trying to judge the situation in the best way and at the same time you do not hold yourself back after receiving the right information as well as the right intuitive sign in how you are going to be dealing with the situation and you will be speaking up your truth but I do see that there is first a period where you're going to be allowing this person to be a little bit in the dark um, meaning that I feel like you're not going to give them the answer that they want right now just to... Because you're still in, in, in analyzing. You're analyzing and, and you're going to keep this person in the dark in regards to an answer just to see how they're going to be reacting. And based on that, you could be making up your mind as well. Oof, poker face. Oh, look at that. Taking a chance, risk and options, not showing head and gambling. This is where you're at. This is where you're at. You're, you're going to keep a poker face. I feel like you're the one that's going to put this person to a test. You're going to keep them in this dark face, holding back of your uh, reciprocity or giving back to this person or helping them and just see how they're going to be behaving and reacting. Like... Are they here just to get something from you or are they here because they truly love you? This is, this is going to be your ultimate case here. The dragonfly and the girl with the snake. There are things that you don't trust at all. So that's why you're starting to have a little bit more boundaries here. But I do see that, that a lot of things are going to come to light. Um, illusions are going to come to light. Your, your intuition is going to be confirming you something. I don't know if you want me to give you a confirmation. I will. I will definitely try to give you a confirmation on that. But I do definitely see that having the poker face right now is going to help you to find your confirmation in your situation as well. Like I would usually never say like be in the poker face. But this time I think the poker face is going to help you to reveal the real intentions and whether they truly love you or are going to be putting in the right amount of effort and energy to make things work with you. Past life connection through time and balance and alignment. So this is a past life uh, connection and that's why this is a big lesson for the both of you to learn something. Sorry, I'm a little bit sick still, but... And there is something from the past that is... Uh, triggering as well as asking both your attention to work things through. It could also be that this person is being very suspicious and very codependent and maybe jealous or obsessed because they have they have an issue from their past life uh, or with an ex and you don't feel like you should be the helping hand in that. And that this person needs to get their mind straight here. What is deconfirmation for Taurus in this energy? What is deconfirmation? Four of Wands. 1111 could be a confirmation that's going to come to you. I don't know how this is going to be your confirmation though, but... It 
it could also be that you may need to spend some time with your friends, with your family, um, go out or try to do things that are making you happy. Go to gatherings, go to invitations and see how that person is going to react. That could also be your confirmation in how they are going to be re reacting and behaving when you do what you want or you're surrounding yourself with the people that you love or you know celebrating your life and focusing on your wins and see how the other person is going to be behaving when you are focusing on your wins and your happiness and your stability and if the other person is good with that then it's a good person if that person does not really enjoy you having your joy and fun and being around where you belong then that could also be a sign that this is not the person that will wish you all the best they only want what they want and not what you want in life so that's the big lesson i hope that this message resonated let me know in the comments below and i'll see you guys in the extended thank you so much for your purchase already and i'll catch you soon take care